Hydrilla leaves are very thin, so minimum number of cell layers are in these leaves. Clearly a lot of chloroplast can be seen under light microscope high power. Chloroplast is the photosynthetic organelle of the plant's cells allergy cells. Plant cells chloroplasts are biconvex shape. The size of the chloroplast usually varies between 4-6 micrometers diameter and 1-3 micrometers thickness. They are double membrane organelle. We can see the chloroplast under light microscope but cannot identify deep details. Naturally only shape color and movement can be seen. Let's we study the detailed diagram of chloroplast. The parts of a chloroplast, such as the inner membrane, outer membrane, intermembrane space, thylakoid membrane, stroma and lamella can be clearly marked out. They are double membrane organelle with the presence of outer, inner and intermembrane space. There are two distinct regions present inside a chloroplast known as the grana and stroma. Grana are made up of stacks of disc-shaped structures known as thylakoids or lamella. The grana of the chloroplast consists of chlorophyll pigments and are the functional units of chloroplasts. When you observe, you see the chloroplast moving, but actually cytosol moving. That moving process is cytoplasmic streaming, also called protoplasmic streaming in cyclosis, is the flow of the cytoplasm inside the cell, driven by forces from the cytoskeleton. It is likely that its function is, at least in part, to speed up the transport of molecules and organelles around the cell. It is usually observed in large plant and animal cells, greater than approximately 0.1. Hydrilla leaf cells are larger than 0.1 mm, so clearly cyclosis can be seen. In smaller cells, the diffusion of molecules is more rapid, but diffusion slows as the size of the cell increases, so larger cells may need cytoplasmic streaming for efficient function. Cytoplasmic streaming is strongly dependent upon intracellular feature and temperature. It has been observed that the effect of temperature on cytoplasmic streaming created linear variants and dependence at different high temperatures in comparison to low temperatures. This process is complicated, with temperature alterations in the system increasing its efficiency, with other factors such as the transport of ions across the membrane being simultaneously affected. This is due to cells' homeostasis depending upon active transport, which may be affected at some critical temperatures. In hydrilla and other plant photosynthetic cells, chloroplasts may be moved around with the stream, possibly to a position of optimum light absorption for photosynthesis. What is clearly visible in plant cells, which exhibit cytoplasmic streaming, is the motion of the chloroplasts moving with the cytoplasmic flow. This motion results from fluid being entrained by moving motor molecules of the plant cell. Myosin filaments connect cell organelles to actin filaments. These actin filaments are generally attached to the chloroplast and who membranes of plant cells. As the myosin molecules walk along the actin filaments, dragging the organelles with them, the cytoplasmic fluid becomes entrained and is pushed along. Cytoplasmic flow rates can range between 1 and 100 micron per second. I hope that this video has provided basic knowledge about chloroplast and cell streaming. See you in another video like this one. Goodbye.